Okay, in this question, um, we have a word problem, and it's a fairly interesting one. We're comparing these two shapes to think about what is the more efficient shape, and I, I like questions about efficiency. Let's read through it. The track and field club, well, it doesn't matter who it is, someone is planning a frozen yogurt sale to raise money. Okay, so they want to make the most profit, that's what I think to myself. They need to buy containers to hold the yogurt. So here, clearly, are the two containers. They must choose between the cup. This is the cup. They don't label it, but I'll label it for you. And the cone below. Each container costs the same, same price. And the club plans to charge customers $1.25 for a serving of yogurt. Which container should the club buy and why? So we could argue exact dollars and cents and calculate it, but I don't think we need to. And because all we have to do here is look at the volume, right? And in fact, it, and I... I just said it to myself. I thought, well, oh, the greater volume is a better deal. Well, that's if you're shopping and buying something, right? You want to get more for your money. But if you're fundraising and selling an item, right, and you're paying for a container to hold it, well, I think it's a better idea to get something that holds less because, I mean, well, then you have to give away less product and you can make more of a profit. So by having a smaller volume, you're actually selling something for the same price, regardless of which container, but you're filling it up, right? You're filling this cone, cone and cup up. Well, I want to sell the thing that holds less. I want to make more of a profit. I, I don't want to give more away. So let's calculate the volumes. The, what, the volume of the cup or cone, whichever one's left less, is the better deal. So how do we do that? Well, you might see it right away. The cup's a cylinder. And the radius is, well, the diameter is 5, so the radius is half of that. It's 2.5. And the height is 4.5. So to find the volume here of, of any cylinder, we take the radius, we square it, multiply it by the height, and multiply that by pi. Our formula for volume of a cylinder, right? All right, S C Y L cylinder, is pi times radius squared times height. So let's do that. We use a calculator here to speed it up. 2.5 times 2.5. I'm squaring the radius. 6.25. And I should have just thrown it in my head, sorry, because 25 times 25 is 625. 2.5 times 2.5 is a is 100 times smaller. Anyway, that multiplied by the height. Well, 4.5. And we get 28.125 times pi. So 28.125 times pi cubic centimeters. Now, do you have to multiply by pi? Well, you could, but you don't need to because it's a constant value. So in the cone, pi will come up as well. So we can compare these two numbers um, by looking at the coefficient that we're multiplying by pi, right? For example, if I had 3 times pi and 4 times pi, well, estimating pi out and doing long multiplication could give you a nice answer, but clearly 4 pi's are more than 3 pi's. It's a very nice comparison tool by leaving things in terms of pi. With that being said, let's look at the, the volume of the cone. The volume of a cone is one-third of the volume of a cylinder right, of, of equal height and with the same radius. So what we usually say is it's one-third pi radius squared times height. right? It's one-third of that. Now, it's not one-third of this volume. Don't confuse that because this cup neither has the same height or radius as the cone. So what we're saying is one-third of a cylinder that the cone fits inside. The cylinder will look something like this, right? Same height, and the base well has the same radius here. So that's our cylinder, right? It's one third of that. So let's let's work through this. Well, our radius is now three, right? Because the diameter is six centimeters, so the radius is three centimeters, and the height is twelve centimeters. Plug all of this in. Well, three squared is our radius squared times our height. Well, I'm going to write this out first. One third. I'm going to rearrange it a little bit. Times 9 at the radius squared, times 12 is the height, times pi. Well, 1 third of 9, I'll figure out first. That's just 3. And 3 times 12 is 36. So it's 36 pi cubic centimeters. And don't be thrown off by the cubic centimeters. It's just saying that this number represents a volume. So really, just look at this piece right here. Well, what's bigger? 36 times pi or 28.125 times pi? Well, whatever 36 times pi is, and whatever 28.125 times pi is, 36 times pi is bigger, because 36 is bigger than 28.125. So this cone holds more than the cup. 
So I would say the cup's the better deal, right? Because, I mean, I don't want to pack too much when I'm selling it. I want to, you know, I want to keep my cost down. I want to give them a smaller amount. And this is actually pretty common, I don't know if you notice in shopping, that, that you see that the amount of volume you're getting seems to be less and less for the money you're paying. And the same thing is true here. We're paying the same amount, but now we're getting less. So it's a better deal for fundraising. But of course, from the customer's point of view, the cone would be the better deal. Right? They want to get more for their money. But I would buy this one, the cup. I would save myself some money so I could raise my raise my funds. I'm, I'm doing a fundraiser. Anyway, good word problem. I hope you enjoyed it.